Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at bridging. A lot of people uh, do these exercises all the time, but this, they have difficulties. A lot of times they'll either get cramps in their hamstrings or they'll start to feel at different places and not in their glutes. So we're just going to do a bridge. We're going to tell Donna just to bridge up. And some of the mistakes, right, get up there through the hips, come back down. But sometimes your patients will start to use their hip flexors. They'll kind of grab in this way as they kind of push up. Or they'll try to dig their heels back in to kind of get themselves up and they get a cramp in their hamstrings. The way we teach them how not to do that is we can take our hands and I'm going to down this, you're going to push your knees out as you bridge up. Good. By doing that, what we're going to do is activate the glutes, relax the hip flexors by pushing out. Okay, the other thing also is you could have them take a strap, put it around their thighs, and he could hold that. And as he bridges up, he could push his thighs out into that direction. So push out, good, and come back down. And that's a key point that people should not be using their hamstrings and you want to be as specific as you can. As we progress, a little bit more testing. So we're going to have him, he learned how to bridge well. So we're going to bridge up again. That position, everything's staying nice and stable. Now we're going to have you try to do is lift one leg off the table. Not bad. You don't want to see this part should stay level. So he should actually be that way. <laughs> and come back down and back down. So that's one test. So he would have failed, but not bad. And the other side, bridge up again. Now try to lift up this side. And you'll see, not bad, but you'll see how we try to use his back extensors to go back down and come back down. We could also incorporate that little trick with pushing. So we'll try, he had trouble before, so we're going to go up again. So we have two choices. Now what I want you to do is push this knee out a little longer, pick this leg up a little bit, and now he's a little bit more stable. <laughs> and breathe, Thomas, and come back down. That's one way to correct it. The other way to correct it is to actually have him activate his core a little bit more have them like that. Have them push down into me, bridge up, activate here, keep pushing, lift one leg. That's a little tougher for them. So the other way was a much better way, come back down and come back down. So multiple ways to get the, the glutes to work during bridging. Try them in the clinic. Let's see how you do. It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.